Namaste everyone. So in the previous videos, we discussed regarding excretion in humans. Now in this video, we are going to discuss excretion in animals belongs to different phyla. Okay, so here we are going to know uh, excretion in different organisms belongs to different phyla. Let's see, uh, first protozoa. Protozoa. So these are unicellular animals. And first animals, proto means first, zoa means animals. So protozoans are the unicellular animals. So that means they are made up of only single cell. In them, there is no uh, specialized structures to excrete. So they excrete by the simple process called uh, diffusion. Okay, so example for protozoans, we have amoeba, paramecium. So these are all uh, uh, belongs to amoeba, uh, protozoa. So see here, if we take this as an amoeba so this external layer of the body is a cell membrane so they excrete by diffusion through body wall that is through cell membrane that happens okay so when the concentration of uh, uh, metabolic waste for example carbon dioxide when it increases or any other substances increases inside the cell so they diffuse out they diffuse out not only this the nitrogenous substances like ammonia in them diffuses out when they increases inside the cytoplasm so in that way this protozoans this protozoans excrete and in some protozoans mainly act uh, fresh water protozoans Freshwater protozoans. In freshwater protozoans, some specialized uh, vacuoles are present called uh, contractile vacuoles. Contractile vacuoles present only in freshwater protozoans. So these contractile vacuoles collect waste material as well as uh, water. They collect and they moves towards the cell membrane then when it reaches to the cell membrane this vacuole contractile vacuoles burst and releases that waste materials outside okay it will break that means it will burst this contractile vacuole when it reaches to the cell membrane it will burst and releases that waste materials out so in that way in protozoans by the simple process called diffusion what is diffusion diffusion is a process so in which the materials move from the region of higher concentration to lower concentration see here when the concentration of the waste is increases here when compared to its surroundings they diffuses out okay so this is a uh, excretion in protozoa then belongs to porifera so next to phylum porifera so porifera means four bearing animals so four bearing animals comes under porifera so they excrete their waste materials they send out waste materials from their body through uh, currents of water through flow of water that flowing water from their bodies removes waste materials so these pore bearing animals they bear pores so here we, if you consider so the, it is a multicellular animal and in between cells 
so in between cells so pores are present so through that pores the water enters into the body through that pores water enters into the body and the flowing water can bring nutrients so they absorb and while the water is flowing over the cells the excretory products they diffuses into that water and finally this water reaches to the this central body part then from here it send out through a large opening called the osculum osculum so these small pores we call as a ostia so through ostia water enters into the body that water carries nutrients and everything and they are absorbed by the cells and the waste materials from the cells uh, diffuses into the water that water leaves the body through a large opening which is located at the anterior gland through that this we call as the osculum through that osculum that water along with the waste products it expelled out so in that way movement of water in the periphery helps in the excretion in the same manner the next phylum that is nidaria in nidaria also the waste materials excreted out by the movement of water only so here this nidarians possess gut called as a here seal and tiron so in nidarians they possess seal and tiron so only one opening there is no mouth and anus in them okay here what happens for example if we consider this is a seal and tiron or nidarian here they possess only one opening so inside the body it possess a gut <coughs> and through this water and along with nutrients enters into this gut here in this gut the digestion of food material takes place and absorbed into the cells surrounding cells so later undigested food material unabsorbed food material and the waste which diffused into this water along with that uh, diffused into this water so this all the water then moves out so the water enters into the body through this opening and leaves the water through that opening only through the same opening so in this way here the moving water brings nutrients then uh, out, outgoing water removes excretory materials okay so in this as well as uh, in periphery there is no specialized organs to excrete waste materials so in next phylum platy helminthes platy helminthes so in this phylum we can find some uh, developed structures for excretion so in them we can find some specialized structures called uh, flame cells flame cells are present in platy helminthes so that flame cells collect the wastages from all the body parts and it is a network of tubules okay so that collects and send out through an opening okay then nematoda or nemati helminthes nematoda or nemati helminthes so in these organisms we can find a h shaped h shaped excretory system h shaped excretory system we can find in nematoda and along with that rennate cells rennate cells so rennate cells are the major excretory organs or structures in nematoda 
whereas in platy helminthes flame cells flame cells <coughs> so in platy helminthes flame cells excrete a waste materials and in nematoda rennet cells helps in excretion okay then we have annelida so in annelida we can find a uh, structures called a nephridia call them as a nephridia so this nephridia are the tubular structures which are present in every segment of the organism for example we have uh, animal belongs to this annelida atwa so in atwa in every segment there is a one structure like this and tubular structure is present this tubular structure opens out through nephridio pore this opens out on the body surface through nephridio pore and this possess uh, some cilia so in every segment there will be a pair of uh, nephridia so they absorbs the nutrients or oh, sorry waste materials from uh, surrounded blood vessels surrounded blood vessels and they opens out through nephridio pore so they absorbs this nephridia absorbs the waste materials from the blood and send out through nephridio pore so like that nephridia possess oh, sorry annelida possess nephridia which helps in removal of waste materials in organisms belongs to annelida next arthropoda so in arthropoda there are different kinds of excretory organs for example in insects we can find a specialized tubes which connected to gut known as malpighian tubules then in crustaceans like crabs and shrimps we can find a specialized glands called green glands and along with that in some organisms like scorpion we can find spoke cell glands next phylum mollusca so molluscans means smooth body animals so these smooth body animals excrete through metanephridia so this molluscans excrete through a specialized structures called metanephridia next phylum echinodermata so echinodermata means spiny skinned animals so the animals which belongs to echinodermata they don't possess specialized excretory system so they possess a system called a water vascular system in that the movement of water helps in excretion next phylum chordata so these chordates excrete with the help of kidneys in this way the organisms belongs to different phyla excrete so here we discussed so far so the protozoans excrete by the process called diffusion and in poriference and sealantarates the flowing water removes waste material from their cells Platy helminthes excrete their waste materials uh, with the help of flame cells, and nematoda, that means round worms, excrete with the help of rennet cells, and annelids with the help of nephridia, and in arthropods, 
green glands, coxal glands, and malpighian tubules helps in excretion. And in mollusca, metanephridia, and in echinodermata, water vascular system helps in excretion. And most of the carpets excrete with the help of kidneys. This is about excretion in different animals. Thank you for watching.